Hi guys, Every Knife Guy here with another sack video for you today. A uh, couple of things I want you to forgive. First of all, we're out in the road again and filming al fresco, so please forgive any wind noise. I'm just taking the opportunity as I'm out for work, also shaky camera, and lastly, my dirty hands, because I say I'm just taking the opportunity in between working to get some videos made and try and keep up, uh, keep up and get some videos out for you guys. So, uh, just picked this up today actually, just thought it would take a quick look at this. This is a 111mm Victorinox Swiss Army knife. This is the Dual Pro X, which was released in 2010. It's part of, uh, I think, what they call the Grip series in North America. You can see it has these little, supposedly grippy panels on the nylon scales, but they're not particularly grippy, they're they're, they're quite a cool function though. Um, no, they're not quite a cool function, they're quite a cool look, I mean. Uh, and you can see also there's an embossed Victorinox logo on there. Uh, there were two models, uh, very similar, released in 2010. There was a Dual Pro and a Dual Pro X, and I believe the Dual Pro has two, well the Dual part is the two blades here, which you can see are both one-handed opening. We'll get to those in a second. Uh, the Dual Pro had both serrated blades, which if you ask me is a fairly limited uh, use. Uh, and it also, I think, had a corkscrew here. This one has one serrated blade, one plain edge, which I think is a perfect combination. And it also has this proper Phillips um, 3D screwdriver. Now, I'm working one-handed here, so bear with me. It has the heavy-duty uh, driver there, which is super useful and uh, very comfortable to use. Let's have a look at the two knife blades. You can see stamped on that one as usual, Victorinox Swiss made, if my camera will ever, ever, ever focus. No, it doesn't seem like it wants to. This blue background is not its favourite. Um, so let's go ahead and open them up. So they're both one-handed opening, as I say, which I am a fan of. I think it's a pretty cool mechanism. Makes it a fun knife to play with as well as to use. So there is the plain edge blade. That lovely kind of um, duck's head, duck bill profile. That's uh, a little quirky, but I think it looks pretty cool. I haven't tested this for sharpness on paper or anything, but it does feel fairly sharp. Victorinox usually is, of course. I'm going to turn this around and manage not to stab myself. We can open up the other one here. Which you can see is got a similar kind of profile, but it's more of like a hawkbill um, draw cutting serrated knife. And the serrations on this feel extremely sharp. Um, they're just small serrations, they're not uh, elongated or anything. So they are, uh, I think they're similar to, or if not exactly the same um, radius as the ones on my German Army knife one handed trekker. Uh, and it's my, the only other one-handed opener I have from Victorinox at the moment. You'll find a review on that in my Swiss Army Knife playlist. Um, so yeah, the serrations on this blade, I mean, it's kind of cool to have a plain edge and serrated edge all in one knife um, for all tasks. Um, the only thing that I'm a little unsure about, and I'm no expert on blade geometry or uses, um, so feel free to chip in if you have an opinion on this, but uh, this blade shape here, as far as I'm concerned, is designed as a draw cutting blade. The curve is supposed to um, give you better leverage or better, um, I don't know, just better action and uh, efficiency when draw cutting. Now, draw cutting with serrations like that, I don't know how well that would work. Surely that would be more uh, useful in a saw cut type uh, type situation. Um, but maybe not, I could be wrong. Just by the way the serrations are shaped, uh, it looks like they'd be equally useful moving the knife forward and backwards rather than just pulling towards you. If there are different types of serrations, I may change my opinion on that, but um, remains to be seen. I'll test this out and uh, maybe do an update on it anyway because I think this is going to be quite a, a common using knife for me, maybe even a, a truck knife, who knows, or a work knife. We'll see. So those are the two blades. Uh, there's actually three locking tools on here. I'm just going to pause the camera a second while I open up everything else and then I'll come back. Okay, here we are guys. Here's the other tools on this knife. We have the piercing all there, not with the needle eye. And you can see it's covered in all that lovely Victorinox factory oil that they put on them. And there's the 3D Phillips. I'm not going to open that up again because you've already seen that. Those are the only uh, back layer tools or rear tools. And part of the reason for that is around here we have the full size cap lifter, large flat head, wire crimper bender. And it is a locking tool as well. You can see the little locking leafs in here. If you haven't looked at one of these before, they all say press here on them. So there's one there, so that one's for the serrated blade, that one's for the cap lifter, which is nice if you're using that as a large flathead screwdriver, it's good to have that, um, you know, to have the safety of it being locked so you can really torque on the whole tool. And uh, down here you have another locking leaf for the straight edge blade. Now, the only issue with that, of course, is that you've then got three 
uh, well you've got one locking leaf that's used at both ends and another one that's used at that end just for the serrated blade so by the time you try and fit all that in there it does use up a lot of space and hence on the back um, you, know, you can see the two thin layers there in the back uh, so you've got one two three full size layers and two thin layers which are just dedicated to the locking leaves um, so it doesn't really leave a lot of room for anything else but that's kind of the uh, the flip side or the or what you give up for um, having locking blades which are of course very useful and uh, very safe if you're if you are using this um, in more hard use and overall I mean it's it's a fairly good uh, backpack hiking um, even survival bag kind of knife it does have a lot of capability it's got the can opener on there as well I don't know if I really mentioned that uh, piercing all screwdrivers um, and two different knife blades so uh, you got your main blade and your backup or depending what task you're trying to do that could even be used maybe as a as a light use saw I don't know if it does feel pretty sharp um, so yeah pretty capable all-around knife it is quite bulky as I said it's a 111 millimeter model um, which does take up quite a bit of real estate in your pocket um, it is fairly thick as well and uh, yeah I just realized one more thing I was going to comment on before we wrap this up let me just close everything up first if I can it's a little tricky one-handed but it can be done when I got my German one-handed trekker I commented and a lot of people uh, chipped in about the fact that it is a right you know it's perfect right hand one-handed opener but the locking leaf then must be pulled towards your hand to, uh, to release it rather than the usual push away and that does feel a little awkward but you can bring your thumb over the other side and pull it back towards you as long as you're careful of course and fold it down like that so it's actually quite nice action on that lovely and smooth and the locking leaf isn't too highly sprung that that is painful to do you can see it's fairly easy uh, but even better than that if you want to flip it around of course in this case we have the one-handed opening blade at the other end and you can use a serrated blade one-handed this is of course if you're just looking to play around with your knife um, and that has the normal push away style locking leaf which feels super natural if you're used to using folding knives and locking folding knives so you can do it either way on this, which is quite nice, and uh, yeah, it just makes it a bit more enjoyable knife to use, I find, um, the way I use knives, and uh, yeah, very capable, pretty cool all-round knife, and I actually picked this up on clearance here in Canada for uh, 35, approximately 25 US, I think, taxes in, uh, which I checked Amazon.com is still about 10 bucks cheaper than you can get it on US Amazon, so uh, fairly happy with that. And uh, here in Canada, it's normally about 85 on on uh, Amazon.ca, so got a bit of a deal on it. And a knife that I hadn't really, wasn't really on my Victorinox list or Swiss Army knife list to get, but uh, very glad I did because I quite enjoy it. So there you have it, guys. That is the Jewel Pro X. Thanks for watching. I'm back with more knife and sack videos soon. Cheers.